Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for New Year's Eve. Happy New Year to you. This is December 31st. It's Tuesday. I'm James Spann. A lot of things happening. We've got multiple shots of cold air coming down the pike, some rain before the week is over. And, of course, the big question involves the potential for some uh, record-breaking Arctic outbreak next week. Still a lot of model madness involved here. So let's go in there and talk about it. We'll start with the big picture this morning. That's the water vapor satellite view. We had hoped to see a little sunshine today. I don't know. The subtropical jet stream has gone nowhere. It will be bright and sunny today in places like Memphis and Nashville. And the clouds could thin out over North Alabama this afternoon as that trough axis moves on by and kind of shunts the subtropical jet to the south, but it just doesn't want to move much. So uh, you get the idea today could be mostly cloudy for places like Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden. Starting off the day in the 30s, temperatures uh, 30 at Haleyville, Birmingham at 37. We'll reach the 40s today, but we won't get out of the 40s because of those pesky clouds. It will be a rather chilly day, but thank goodness it's not as cold as it is in Minnesota. Ely, Minnesota at daybreak, 33 below zero. And that's no wind chill. That's how cold it is. That is brutal. And really, the, the numbers in Canada are basically off the scale. And of course, again, everybody in the weather community is buzzing about what some uh, global models are portraying for next week down here with uh, the gates to the Yukon maybe opening up in a wide open fashion. But again, there's still some debate there. Here's a watch warning map this morning. Uh, no major storms to deal with. We've got some uh, winter weather advisories up north for cities like Chicago, uh, up into parts of North Dakota and Montana. Uh, still some wind chill advisories up near the Canadian border where it's just brutally cold. Here's the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Sunday morning at 6 o'clock, and uh, this is the event we'll see uh, late tomorrow night and Thursday. Heavier totals near the Gulf Coast. Rain amounts could be around one inch in places like Mobile and Fort Walton Beach in Panama City. Amounts up this way should be lighter, uh, perhaps one half inch or so. Well, let's go in there and dive into this. This is the 06Z GFS valid at noon today. This is at 500 millibars. And uh, again, you can see that uh, little impulse over Mexico that will be playing a role in the rain we'll see before the week is over. But today should be uh, dry. You can see a 1031 millibar high that's centered over the Mississippi Delta. And again, there's a look at the expected cloud cover at noon today, and that uh, subtropical jet stream shows it very nicely. And it just doesn't want to move much. So we figured the day will be mostly cloudy and rather cool. The GFS showing a high of 45 today for uh, Birmingham. All right, this is uh, tomorrow at midday and again the day will be dry clouds will probably stick around much of the day i'm not so sure the sun will be out that much maybe a little bit but at least the day will be warmer those thickness values suggest a high up in the uh, mid 50s and we note that rain that's increasing off the louisiana coast this is tomorrow night at midnight rain moves up into south mississippi and south alabama another cold shot not too far away this is Thursday at midday. A very sharp trough will be pushing in here. This is Thursday at noon, and most of the state is in rain, as you can see, and uh, that snow line is awfully close to the Alabama border. This is suggesting a pretty decent part of Tennessee will see some snow on Thursday up into Kentucky and Ohio. Uh, this is Thursday evening at 6 o'clock. The precipitation begins to wind down, and again, the GFS is suggesting that this, this thing might uh, uh, be a case where we taper off into snow flurries Thursday afternoon or Thursday evening as the cold air drops in. I think we fall during the day. We'll probably start the day in the 40s. We wind up in the 30s. In fact, you can see the freeze line is almost down to Birmingham uh, Friday evening at 6 o'clock. So we'll forecast temperatures dropping into the 30s on uh, Thursday afternoon. 
Uh, rain much of the day with potential for the rain briefly changing to snow flurries before ending. If that happens, we don't expect any problems. Uh, this is the snow depth coming off the GFS, valid Thursday night at midnight. And you can see potential for maybe a dusting of snow in South Tennessee, uh, amounts of maybe one to two inches north of Nashville up into Kentucky. Uh, so if you want to see some snow with that system, head north. Maybe uh, from Nashville north, you'll get a little bit on the ground. The NAM not as aggressive with the snow and the cold. It's got uh, only light snow for Kentucky in scattered pockets, barely enough to measure a dusting with a better snow north of the Ohio River. Uh, so a little bit of model madness there, but I do think that uh, anything here, if we see snow flurries Thursday evening, would not be a big deal. Now, Friday's going to be cold. I mean, this is midday Friday. The uh, latest GFS printing a low Friday morning for Birmingham at 19. Uh, and the high, 40, uh, the high Friday only at 40. So uh, despite the return of sunshine, looks like we'll stay in the 30s Friday afternoon. Uh, just cold, but at least the sky should be sunny. All right, weekend fans, here we go. This is Saturday, um, and we've got a uh, dry day. The day should be a little warmer with highs up in the 40s, maybe mid to upper 40s. Now, Sunday, the latest GFS brings in a trough a little north of us, and it, it suggests there might be enough moisture for a touch of light rain in spots on Sunday, uh, with snow maybe for Kentucky and points north. And uh, we'll probably start to introduce that in the forecast. Maybe a little light rain in scattered locations. Not a big deal. Just some potential for that on Sunday. And this is Monday. That disturbance is on by. We are dry. Uh, the high Monday would be in the 50s based on these thickness values. And this is a week from today. Uh, the GFS uh, really showing just a west and northwest flow aloft and uh, a colder air mass dropping in here. That's a 1,046 millibar high that's located near Omaha, Nebraska. And no doubt it's going to be a cold day on Tuesday. In fact, the uh, uh, freeze line, that red line, is sitting over uh, the Tennessee Valley. Uh, so this is suggesting Tuesday would be a very cold day, but not as cold as the European. This is the model that keeps everybody talking. And this isn't, you know, this is the new run. This is the OZ run, a different run than we showed you yesterday. Uh, that's the upper pattern uh, Monday night. Uh, a polar vortex digging down into Michigan and uh, uh, Ohio. And these are the numbers being printed by the European. This is Tuesday morning at 6 o'clock local time. And these are not wind chill indices. These are not anomalies. These are two-meter temperatures. Uh, it's got five below at Huntsville, three below at Muscle Shoals, two below at Fort Payne. Birmingham, five above. Gadsden, four above. Tuscaloosa, nine. And uh, again, the, the we'll be watching the consistency and the output in coming days. Obviously, the GFS not anywhere close to being this cold. And typically what happens, the two tend to meet in the center somewhere. Uh, but I do think there is potential for us to have the coldest air so far this season by Tuesday of next week. Will it be this cold? I don't think so. Uh, it is very, very hard to get that cold with no snow cover here. Uh, that's that's just doesn't make any sense. But, you know, uh, getting temperatures down in the low teens, yes, I, I think that could be possible. So for everybody, just be aware we could be looking at very, very cold air by Monday night or Tuesday of next week. How cold? We'll just have to wait and see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here will be tomorrow. We're on the holiday schedule, so one a day. But I will post a whole bunch of forecast notes in the blog later this afternoon. Uh, catch us on the news this evening if you can. ABC 3340 on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Uh, that's our video update today. Have a very, very great uh, New Year's Eve. Happy New Year, and God bless.